Boom! What's going on, everybody? I am Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and this is Koi Talk. Today, I'm going to talk about CL Best, Clarence Leo Best. If you recall last time, I talked about three people that were significant in the forming of the Caterpillar Tractor Company, known today as CAT. Those three men were Porter Slate, Daniel Best, CL Best's father, and Benjamin Holt. If you missed that video, please click the link right up there and go watch it. I guarantee you'll find it fascinating. Also, I'd really, really appreciate it if you click that red subscribe button over here and ring the bell right beside it. That way you'll get notified of all of my future videos. While Holt focused on agricultural and road building equipment, CL Best focused on farming. CL Best experimented with various different wheeled and track type tractors. And these were all powered by gasoline engines because Leo saw the future back when his dad and Benjamin Holt were working with steam. He saw that gasoline internal combustion engines were the future and that was the route he took. By 1913, Best had developed a 75 horsepower gasoline engine and he used this engine to power a crawler or more simply put a track layer. Now this first crawler was the first track layer bearing the track layer trademark. And try saying that fast. Best, like Benjamin Holt, was an inventor but more importantly he was a businessman. Best knew that he had to find a better way to sell the products and the equipment that his manufacturing plant was producing. First, he recognized that his customers had no idea of the concept of a track laying machine. Therefore, he created a warranty on the tracks. But after that, he also created a customer support system for those customers. This particular concept of a warranty and customer sp support has led to all of the manufacturing today. After all, would you buy any type of equipment today that didn't come with some type of warranty or customer support? Of course you wouldn't. And you can thank CL Best for that warranty you have today on all of that nice equipment. Clarence Leo Best named his company the CL Best Gas Traction Company. Leo started by using round wheel tractors in 1911. Then he turned to track type tractors and in 1912 CL Best named his new tractor the Best 70 Track Layer. By 1919 CL Best had introduced the Best 60 tractor. By now CL Best had 15 dealers on the Pacific Coast and by 1924, his dealer network rose up to 50 dealerships. At this point, it becomes clear to CL Best that if he wanted to keep the momentum going and his business growing, he was going to have to do something. The logical thing was to merge with his big competitor, the Holt Manufacturing Company. The Holt Manufacturing Company was not doing financially well at this point. CL Best needed an innovator to continue to grow his company and Benjamin Holt needed money to survive. Therefore, it was only logical that Best and Holt should merge their two companies. Pooling their assets, Best brought in better finances, a better tractor design, and the beginnings of a dealer network into the merger. Holt brought in his innovative skills and the Caterpillar trademark name that has a worldwide reputation at this point. CL Leo Best would serve as the CEO of the newly formed Caterpillar Tractor Company, and he remained in this role for many, many years. Daniel Best, that's Leo's father's plant in San Leandro, California, was chosen as the home office of the newly formed Caterpillar Tractor Company. It would serve as the worldwide headquarters and the beginnings of Caterpillar. The first products 
that were produced were the best 30 and best 60 track layers. Also, they produced the Holtz 2-ton, 5-ton, and 10-ton machines. Fast forward to today, and Caterpillar is the worldwide leading manufacturer of construction and mining equipment. Today, we're going to review this Diecast Masters 164 scale CAT 988H wheel loader. The CAT 988 earth and rock hauling machine came on the scene back in 1963, and it has been moving bulk materials for over 50 years now. The CAT's 988K continues the tradition and it serves CAT customers around the world as the leading choice of wheel loaders. This is the Caterpillar 988H wheel loader in 164 scale that was made by Diecast Masters. The real CAT 988H is 13 foot 6 inches tall. It has a length of 40 feet with the bucket on the ground. It is 11 foot 9 inches width over the wheels and it weighs 109,249 pounds. That means that this is a big wheel loader and it's going to need a big truck. However, in Kentucky, you probably could get away with a three axle low boy and a three axle day cab truck to haul this machine. It, with permits, you probably could get away with it. it but you're going to be pretty close on your permit. The machine itself, it has a bucket size of 8.33 yards. That's the standard bucket that it runs with. It can have a little smaller or a little bigger depending on the claw. And it's powered with a 540 horsepower Caterpillar C18 Acer diesel engine. That engine and all of its hydraulics put out a breakout force of 85,068 pounds. <laughs> Massive machine. The model, it features working hydraulics on the bucket, it works, it raises, it lowers, and it dumps. The model has articulated steering. The pistons work to make it steer, as you can see. The model features the correct headlights on the front and up on the cab. Also on the cab, you can see the uh, Caterpillar graphic right there on the windshield. The model rides on soft rubber tires, and it has what feels like plastic wheels. But that's okay for a $30 model. It has an all die-cast body construction, including the bucket and the arm. Some of the little small parts, detail parts, are plastic, like the handrails, but they add such a nice detail to it, the handrails. It's got a standard uh, cat mitered stack, and it's got an air cleaner on it. The back has the uh, the back has the uh, ladder to climb up onto, and then the steps, as you can see when you're looking down it. You can also see the rear lights and more lights up on the cab. Inside the cab, you can see a full detailed interior. And this particular 988 does not have a steering wheel. It is a joystick controlled machine. Pretty cool. It has exquisite graphics that Caterpillar used on the real one, replicated on this small one. Turning it over on the bottom, you're gonna see um, modest detail because mainly it doesn't sit out, but you can see the axle detail here and here. And you can also see that it has die cast masters cast into the casting to let you know who made it. You can see those uh, pistons on the steering move as it steers. It has authentic wheel loader wheel tread on those tires. On the other side, you can see the other ladders climb up and down. That bucket will dump so that you can scrape and pick up 
or you can raise it up and dump it into the ore dump that they made. They made, Diecast Masters made a 775E dump truck, which would be perfect to go with this piece. You can see it looks just like the real one, only this one's in 164 scale for all of us 164 scale truck collectors who need some construction equipment on our layouts. This will be great. And with the proper oversized permits, you could haul this on a low boy with no problem. Or if you had one of the Jeeps and the extra stinger axle, you'd haul this just fine with those oversized permits. And here it is. As you can see, it's designed to go right with that 775E and fill that dump truck with. The Diecast Masters Cat 988H wheel loader. And also the Diecast Masters Cat 775E off highway dump truck. Both in 164 scale for us 164 scale collectors. Hey guys, I've got a totally free report for you on value in your collection. It details what you need to look for in pieces that will add future value to your collection. Don't you want more value in your collection? Of course you do. So grab your free copy, it's totally free, at the link in the description below. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notified of all of my future videos. And I'd really appreciate if you'd hit that share button and share this video and any of my other videos with your friends. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Steel, and this is Toy Talk.